Welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I would like us to discuss uh, form four chemistry, topic one, acid, base, and salts. In this topic, you need to know definition of acid, uh, definition of base, uh, factors that affect the strength of acid and base. Now to start with, an acid is uh, a proton donor. When you say a proton donor, we mean it gives out hydrogen atom to a base. Example, look at this equation. You have ammonium ion plus water molecule. Uh, it gives you ammonia uh, plus hydronium ion. So in this equation, you must be able to understand that ammonium ion is the acid. Why? Because as you can see, it gives out, that is it donates hydrogen atom to water molecule to form hydronium ion. Now, this is definition of acid is known as bronsted lowry definition of acid. Now, an acid can also be defined as a substance that dissociates in water to produce hydrogen ions as the only positive ions. Look at this example. We have uh, HCl, aqueous. It dissociates in water to form hydrogen ions, which is the only positive ion, plus a chloride ion. This definition is known as Arrhenius definition of acid. Now from there we have a base. A base is uh, defined as uh, a proton acceptor. When we say a proton acceptor, we mean it receives hydrogen atom from acid. In the, look at the equation below. You have uh, ammonia plus hydronium ion. Arrow. Get ammonium ion plus water molecule. So in the equation above, you must be able to understand that uh, ammonia is the base. Why? Because as you can see, it accepts, that is, it receives hydrogen atom from hydronium ion to form ammonium ion. We have another definition of uh, a base. A base is a substance which, when dissolved in water, it dissociates to produce hydroxide ions and the only negative ions. As you can see, we have sodium hydroxide. It dissociates in water to form sodium ion and hydroxide ion, which is the only negative ion. Now, from there, we need to know factors that affect the strength of acid and base. For their strength is affected by uh, four factors. Number one, degree of dissociation. Number two, pH. Number three, electrical conductivity. Number four, chemical uh, reaction. Now, to start with the degree of dissociation, strong acid is one which dissociates completely when dissolved in water to produce many hydrogen ions. Examples include dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, and dilute nitric 5 acid. A weak acid is one which dissociates partially when dissolved in water to produce few hydrogen ions. Examples they include ethanoic acid, carbonic acid, and methanoic acid. A strong base is one which dissociates completely in water to produce uh, many hydroxide ions. Examples they include uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, potassium hydroxide. A weak base is one which dissociates partially when dissolved in water to produce few hydroxide ions. Examples, they include ammonia solution, wood ash solution, magnesium hydroxide solution. Now we have factor number two is pH. What is pH? pH is the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The acidity depends on the concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution. NB, strong acid has high concentration of hydrogen ions, while a weak acid has low concentration of hydrogen ions. Alkalinity or basicity depends on the concentration of hydroxide ions. NB, a strong base has high concentration of hydroxide ions, while a weak base has low concentration of hydroxide ions. Now from there we need to know how to determine the pH of a solution. Now for you to determine the pH of a solution then you usually use the universal indicator solution or universal indicator paper. Now if you are given universal indicator solution then you add three drops of universal indicator solution to the sample. And then to the sample, you compare with the pH at scale. But if you are given an inverse indicator paper, then you take the paper and you dip in the sample. Then you compare with the pH at scale. This is how a pH scale looks like. You need to know that uh, pH 1.0 to 3.5 is a strong acid. 3.5 to 6.5 is a weak acid. Uh, pH 7.0 is a neutral. 7.5 to 10.5 is a weak base. 10.5 to 14.0 is a strong base. NB, acidic rain 
is a weak acid which has a pH value of 6.5. Here we have a sample quiz. We have solution pH, solution A, pH value 1.0, solution B, pH value 6.5, solution C, pH value 10.0, solution D, pH value 13.0. With the reason, identify the solution with A, highest concentration of hydrogen ion. So the answer becomes A, because we say that strong acid has high concentration of hydrogen ion, therefore pH 1.0 is a strong acid. B, lowest concentration of hydroxide ion. You can try that one. Now we have factor number three, electrical conductivity. Electrical conductivity of a solution increases as the number of ions in a solution increase. And B, the difference in electrical conductivity of a solution is compared using A, amount of brightness, B, amount of deflection on the ammeter. Note, strong acid and strong base produce greater deflection on the ammeter. They also produce a brighter bulb. A reason, strong bases and strong acids are strong electrolytes. Hence, they are fully ionized in aqueous solution to yield many free and mobile ions. Note, weak acid and a weak base produce lesser deflection on the ammeter, produce a dim bulb. A reason, a weak acid and a weak base are called weak electrolytes. Hence, they are partially ionized in solution to yield fewer ions. We have a sample quiz here. You have solution, ammeter reading. You have sulfuric 6 acid. The ammeter reading is 7.0. You have adenoic acid. The ammeter reading is 3.0. Now, explain the difference in ammeter reading of the solutions above. The answer is sulfuric 6 acid is a strong acid, hence strong electrolyte. Therefore, it is fully ionized in solution to yield many ions. While adenoic acid is a weak acid, hence a weak electrolyte, therefore it, it is partially ionized to yield few ions in solution. Factor number four, we have chemical reactions. The rate of chemical reaction depends on the amount of hydrogen ions in solution. NB, the difference in rate of chemical reaction depend on, number one, amount of gas produced, number two, rate of effervescence bubbles, that is. Note, strong acid such as dilute hydrochloric acid produces high amount of hydrogen ions when reacted with metals and the rate of effervescence is very high. A reason, strong acid is fully ionized in water to produce many hydrogen ions in solution. And B, a weak acid such as dilute adenoic acid produces less amount of hydrogen gas when reacted with metals and the rate of effervescence is very, very slow. The reason, Weak acid dissociates partially in water to produce fewer hydrogen ions. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.